I'm Greg Ruff and joining me is Austin Selby, the cross country and track coach here at Trevecca and you guys had a really nice meet on Friday and you guys just continue to set records and get personal records, just wrap up uh, the last meet down at the Crimson Classic. Yeah, um, it, it was a fantastic race. Uh, that course was a little more difficult than we expected. It's a lot warmer down there than we've had to race and so being in the middle of a hard training cycle. Just really wanted everybody to, uh, to give a good effort. I mean, it's really the last time you get to try some things out before things start to matter, like with uh, with conference coming up here. And uh, I was just really impressed with what we did um, for the girls to take the win in the non-D1 division, but then even more so to be able to uh, to race and compete really well against some, some pretty good D1 uh, opponents, including Belmont. Um, being able to, to beat them was kind of a big thing for us. Uh, and the guys ran incredibly well. Also, I think they stacked up really well against the entire field, not just the non-D1 field. Um, and just really kind of stuck their noses out there. And we tried some things, uh, encouraged them to try some things. And uh, it worked for some, didn't work for others. But so those kind of races are really for. So just to see them grit one and grind one out like that, to use a Memphis term since I'm from there, yeah. uh, it, was, it was excellent. Uh, really proud of the effort that we saw from everybody. It's one of those things, I kind of joked with Ben Baroni the other day about you guys sitting around talking about strategy. And, and you know, I'm someone who's into cycling and, and, you know, you can even take it to NASCAR. There is strategy to racing, even going in a circle at track and field, uh, but in particular in cross country because the courses are so different, the distances are different. Right. There is there is so much strategy. And you did walk in on a pretty intense debate yesterday. Debate yesterday. Um, there's so much to think about. You know, you have to look at other teams and what they're doing, how their runners have run. Um, and then when you get to the line, you know, you have no idea what shape everybody's in. Um, you don't know if uh, people have gotten over injuries yet. Uh, and so I think in a situation like you have right now where us and Cedarville are running so close uh, and a lot of our times when you spread out our one through five runners, their three through five, our three through five, what does our number one have to do? What does our number two need to do? What do I need to expect out of three through five? And then what can I ask my six and seven runner to do to contribute as well? And so I think both myself and Coach Orchard uh, and Coach Boland are up at Cedarville are all doing the same thing right now as well as coaches across the conference. Um, you know, I was talking with a coach at Alderson Brodus the other day, and everybody's trying to figure out where they need to put their runners, how everybody needs to go out. And it's a lot of fun, but then again, you can get to the line and in, in – 800 meters it's just it's all shot it's all gone something totally different's happened and it just comes down to guts and that's really at the end of the day I mean you know it comes down to who's got the most guts and that's typically who pulls it out and so that's let's see if, if we have runners that run gutsy races then we can end the day happy and hopefully on top he's Austin Selby we're going to have another segment where we talk about the great midwest athletic conference championships and also the NCAA regionals Back with more here on TNUTrojans.com.